Breaking news, Elijah Cummings now at the microphone there. This is what Daryl Isis stated regarding executive privilege only moments ago. Over and over again, the department has sought to protect its political appointees. It has used this investigation by the, its investigation by the department's inspector general, which has been pending a very long time, as a reason not to cooperate. We are now on the second inspector general. There's been no interim report. And although they say it will be forthcoming within a month, we and the American people need answers sooner, not later. But apparently those answers will not be today and possibly not time, uh, no time, anytime soon. Judge Anna Napolitano with me now. Uh, Judge, good morning to you. No. Executive privilege now exerted, signed off by the president. What does this mean, Judge? This means that this is going to an, a, a new level this morning, Bill. This means that we may be on the precipice of a constitutional confrontation between the executive branch, the White House, and the Congress. Executive privilege is defined in the leading Supreme Court case, interestingly, United States versus Nixon. That's Richard Nixon. That's the Watergate era. That's the efforts of the special prosecutor to subpoena tapes from President Nixon as protecting conversations with the president himself. Now, the letter that Eric Holder wrote to the president saying, please give me executive privilege, does not say, because I discussed this with you, Mr. President, but the implication is there. Executive privilege protects communications with the president, the human being of the president, not with people that work for him and the Justice right, so Department. So let's be clear now. You say this is not an acceptable subject for executive privilege. Correct. Unless then, the president. Then why would they seek this? There must be something in these documents, or there must be someone who observed these documents that the Attorney General is trying to keep from public view. If the Attorney General sat down and discussed it with the President, he probably doesn't want the Congress and the public to know that, because we know of the awful events that occurred as a result of the fast and furious um, uh, escapade. But we also know that executive privilege only pertains to military, diplomatic, and sensitive national security matters. Now, was fighting the drug gangs at the border a sensitive national security matter? And if so, was the President of the United States of America personally involved in making decisions as to how to conduct that fight? If that's the case, this has reached a different level, and we now okay. know why the Attorney General has ferociously defended these documents and refused to reveal them. Two specific questions. Does the Attorney General now have to show or prove why executive privilege applies here then? Well, the Attorney General uh, is arguing that the committee has to show why executive privilege does not apply. The last time this happened, 40 years ago, in the Nixon Watergate uh, saga, a federal district court judge got involved and he ruled against the president and the Supreme Court upheld his ruling. We may be seeing this going in that direction now if there's a standoff between the president and the Congress, the attorney general and the Congress, the court, the courts will resolve that standoff. Okay, now back to the comment you made two answers prior. If the attorney general had a conversation about this ATF operation in Phoenix, Arizona with the President of the United States, perhaps executive privilege applies here. But what would the President of the United States have to do with this operation run by the ATF allegedly out of Phoenix? Well, I could only, I could only speculate. I have no basis for this, but the President of the United States may have wanted to participate in decisions about defending the border between Mexico and Texas, Mexico and New Mexico, Mexico uh, and Arizona, and they may have run this uh, past the president. But, Bill, if the president of the United States knew about this, if Attorney General Holder discussed this with President Obama, that would be at odds with his testimony under oath given to Congressman Ice's committee, and then he'd be in a lot of hot water. He'd be in the situation that he claimed Roger Clemens was in when he misled the Congress. David Schweiker, Congressman from Arizona, was with Martha just a few moments ago. Right. He said, makes you wonder what they don't want us to see. Congressman Schweikert is correct. It does make you wonder what they don't want us to see. see. They can't have it both ways. If the president was not personally involved, executive privilege doesn't apply. If the president was personally involved and they want to argue that, uh, that fighting drug gangs at the border is a matter of sensitive national security, then they at least have an argument for executive privilege, but that would be at mm -hmm. odds with what Attorney General Holder has already testified to under oath. All right, listen, don't go 